Hi, welcome back. I'm back in the car. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I missed yesterday because I'm an asshole. Uh, so I'm doing today's video message for my friend Leela. Uh, better, 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 better to do it the next day than to just like stop doing them all together. Um, so yeah, anybody who missed me and was like, where's today's video message yesterday? I was busy yesterday, I had a lot going on, and it was very hectic, and I was trying to get a bunch of stuff done, but I ended up not doing nearly, I didn't even do half the shit I wanted to do, and other stuff kept coming up, and, um, oh god, excuse me, I just, I just ate a huge plate of barbecue, and I'm like belching, so, um, yeah, so I was busy yesterday, and, you know, I was, kind of going through some stuff mentally, and then I ended up hanging out with a friend of mine all night, we ended up talking, uh, until about 3.30 in the morning, and then I, uh, and then, uh, instead of driving all the way back, uh, to where I'm living, I just stayed in my hometown yesterday, and, uh, got a room, and just slept, and then I got up at 10.30 today, this morning, and, uh, had other shit I had to do. And, um, uh, did that, and I ended up having to drive, uh, down further, uh, to Texas. Now I'm in Texas, um, uh, uh, north Texas, so I'm not, like, way down in Texas, I'm just, like, in the north, the very tip, tip of it. Uh, I'm in, I'm in Gainesville, actually, um. I don't normally come to Gainesville, but I, uh, I was born here, and I, and I spent the first few years of my life here, um, and as a kid, I would come here in the summer, to spend the summers with my grandmother, um, but I haven't been here much, uh, as an adult. My grandmother ended up moving away from Gainesville when I was about 18 or so. And, uh, she still comes here sometimes for, like, doctor appointments and stuff. But, uh, generally speaking, uh, she doesn't come here much. And I really don't come here, like, ever. It's actually been a very long time since I've been here in Gainesville. But, yeah, so today's video message is coming at you live from we're not really alive because this is all pre-recorded and won't be updated later, but it's coming at you from Gainesville, Texas, uh, which I normally don't shoot in. Usually I shoot in my hometown in Oklahoma, uh, but I had stuff I had to do today here, so I drove the four hours from my hometown to here. Uh, I got here in no time. Didn't take too long. Um, I'm currently sitting here at, at a park. There's a little tiny little town park here. Um, kind of in the middle of the town. And I used to play here as a very little boy. And all the same like stuff uh, is here. They still have the same like like jumble gym type thing that I used to play on like, the slides, and, like, things you should climb on, and bars, you know, like, monkey bars type things, and it's still here, it's the same structure, it's the same old, like, uh, jungle gym type play thing, thing, I don't know what you call it, I just call it jungle gym, it's just like a, it's like a, it's like a, a big thing that kids climb on and slide off of and stuff, but anyways, I used to play on it, and it's still here. And uh, I spent a, I spent a lot of hours as a, as a little boy here, and um, I liked I loved it. It was fun. You know, my parents used to take me when they were still together. And uh, just a few feet away from the jungle gym, there's a uh, there's a there's an awning with picnic tables under it, and they used to sit at the tables and watch me while I played on the jungle gym. And um, there's a bridge like goes across it, um, away from it, like, so here's the playground, right, so there's the jungle gym here, and then 
little bit further is the awning with the picnic tables. If you go like that way away from it, there's a little bridge um, that connects to the other half of the park. Cause, um, because for some reason, Gainesville built their city around the Trinity River, which flows directly through the middle of town. So, <laughs> um, I don't know why, but yeah, that's that's how the town is. It's like there's a river like that runs directly in the middle of the town, and I don't know why they built the city around it, or instead of just to one side or the other of it, but they did. So uh, one half of Gainesville's on one side of the river, and the other half of Gainesville's on the other side of the river. And uh, this little park is right in the middle of the town, so the river runs right through the park. So there's like a little bridge under. It. And I, my parents and I used to go walking around this park. Like there's a, a there's a there's a sidewalk that just does a big circle around the whole thing, and you can walk around the whole area. And um, I, I used to I used to I used to walk with them, and um, it was fun. <laughs> I mean, I've always liked walking. You know, I, I've always liked to go out and just walk around, walk around trails, walk around sidewalk, walk around the neighborhood. Even as an adult, before I had a car, I used to walk all over my own town. I'd walk from one end of the town to the other uh, in Oklahoma. So, um, so yeah, I'm just kind of sitting here a little bit of ways from it, basically across the street from it, just kind of looking at it, looking at all the people walking. On the... It's a nice day today. It's very windy and it's cool. It's like, I mean, 77 degrees or so. It's a nice day and there's just people walking around. All the same shit is here that I grew up with. There's the trail and the, the bridge, uh, the jungle gym, the, uh, the picnic tables. Uh, on the other side, there's like more trail, like more walking trails. And I think there used to be like a basketball court on that side, uh, which I can't really see here because there's a bunch of trees. Uh, but I think there used to be like a basketball. And I know over there, I know you can't see where I'm pointing, but over there, over there, uh, further away, towards that side, like this south side, I guess would be of town. Uh, there's uh, there's these brick structures where an old bridge used to be. Uh, that apparently many, many, many years ago, a, like a road ran through here before they put a park here or something. And there's and there's, and there's like they left those stone like structures where a bridge can and they're just kind of chilling over there, and they've been graffitied over uh, during the years. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to get out and just go walking around, uh, just to kind of nostalgically uh, revisit it. Uh, I'm so excited, uh, just because it just brings back memories of being very, very young uh, in the 90s, and, um, being like three and four coming here like every day, like my parents took me here. Uh, my parents used to hang out and bring me with them in places. So they'd hang out here while I played on the jungle gym. Or the other place we went to all the time was we would hang out under the bridge at the Red River a few miles out of town. Uh, you, can, you can, like, if you take the an exit ramp from the highway, from I-35, there's a road that goes down there and you can actually go under the overpass over the river, and they used to hang out there under the bridge, um, and I would be with them, and they would build a fire, uh, uh, they'd smoke weed, um, do all that shit they used to do, and I would, like, pretend and stuff, I'd run around pretending I was in various, uh, scenarios, uh, I'd pretend I was, like, Indiana Jones or something, <laughs> or I'd pretend I was a cartoon character various cartoons I grew up watching. So, yeah, it was, I don't know, I'm not normally the nostalgic type. I usually don't romanticize the past or have any kind of sentimentality. But, I don't know, I've, there's always been a spot in my heart for that specific part of my childhood uh, here. And, um, and not much changes around here. <laughs> Gainesville's not exactly known for being embracing the modern, modernity and uh, 
looking for. They're very much based in tradition, uh, like most of the South. And uh, we're very proud of their Southern uh, unwillingness to change and grow. Uh, but in some ways, for people like me who do have certain nostalgic things, I, I'm glad certain parts of it are the same. Though that's not to say I'm proud of every thing the South refuses to change. And in fact, I'm uh, severely disappointed by the South. And, and I hate that shit like religious fanaticism and racism and stuff like that is still around here and uh, has never changed. And, uh, it's one of the many, 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 many things I hate about the South. And I do hate living here. But I don't know. The way I see it, you know, I, I, as long as I'm here, you know, I could go back to a place that does have some special meaning for me and kind of just you know, kind of enjoy, um, you know, that particular place, the memories that it has associated with me personally, not connected to any of the, you know, conservative, uh, non-progress bullshit that the South itself is. So, to clarify, the point of this video is one, the South sucks. I really hate it. I hate living here uh, for a myriad of reasons. Uh, it's racist, it's sexist, it's homophobic, it's completely idiotic in the choice of morals or anti-morals. It's deeply Republican. It's deeply non-progressive. They have idiots running the local states are here, uh, legislation here. Uh, it's, it's way too religious and conservative to the point where religion is the government around here. Uh, it sucks so badly, and I fucking hate it, and I can't wait to move away from the South. But two, I have a very nostalgic uh, part of me loves this particular place in this particular town and happens to be in the South. So, no, I'm not proud to be a Southerner. But, I'm happy to be in a place in the South that has memories for me of when I was very young. Anyway, I don't know. I've always considered myself more Southern just by ge geography and location. Geographical location as opposed to personality, because I don't have any of the same morals or lack of morals that people around here do. I'm not conservative. I'm damn sure not Republican. I'm not religious. I'm not fanatically religious. I don't believe in the Bible. I don't think the Bible and government should be used. I'm not. I'm not racist. I'm not homophobic. I'm not transphobic. I'm not Islamophobic. I'm not any of the other phobias, phobics people are around here. Um, and I pretty much hate everything they stand for. So, so I, I definitely think I'm more, I don't know, like, probably closer to, like, a New Yorker's personality. Or, like, maybe from someone, from someone like Portland, Oregon, it's more of a personality than I did. Definitely a Southern personality. Don't be fooled by my accent. I hate the South. <laughs> and I hate living here. So, anyway... That's just what I had to say for today. Um, and I just wanted to apologize for not uploading a video yesterday. I'm very sorry about that. Um, I will try to do better in the future. Uh, no matter how busy I get, I will I promise, I promise, 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 I will set aside uh, a few minutes every day to make sure I record and upload one of these videos. So that's all I have to say for today, and I'll try to be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll do this again. So, I love you, Leola. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you for being my friend. And thank you for loving me. Like, only you can love me. And, uh, I miss you, and I wish that you weren't around and around the world while I'm lying and lonely, but that's the way it is. So, until we talk again, I love you. I miss you. I hope you're feeling better. I hope that got over here with the sickness you were feeling yesterday. So, I will miss you. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll be sure to do one of these videos tomorrow. So, until then, I'll keep
catch you later.